The anthotype process is a historic photographic process that uses natural dyes derived from plants, and today we'll be using turmeric to make some of these prints. This is a positive process, so you'll need to make positive transparencies before you begin. So to start off, what you're going to need is ground turmeric, as well as 91% isopropyl alcohol, any kind of paper you want to actually print onto and a brush. You're going to need something to strain it, coffee filters or a rag works well, and you're definitely going to need gloves. Okay, so starting off, I'm putting on my gloves because this turmeric will stain anything it comes into contact with. I'm just going to take one teaspoon of the turmeric and I'm going to put it into just like a little mixing glass. In addition, I'm going to add four teaspoons of 91% isopropyl alcohol. And then all you want to do is just mix it together and just make sure that the mixture sits for at least 15 minutes. Now to extract our mixture, we're going to take some sort of a filter and put it into a separate glass. We're going to pour our emulsion mixture into it and the alcohol should have stripped away parts of the turmeric that just leaves the natural pigment dye, which then can be painted onto whatever piece of paper that you plan to expose in the sunlight. Using a picture frame, I layered my transparency over top of my emulsion, and I'm now going to expose in the windowsill for about two to three days. After exposing, you're going to want to retrieve your print, and we can begin the toning process. The toning process is very simple. Just lay your photo down in a tray. We're going to mix two teaspoons of borax with half a cup of hot water. Once mixed together, you can then pour it on top of your anthotype print, and you should start to see it change to an almost dark brown color. Just begin washing it with a little bit of water after it's done changing colors, and your anthotype should be finished.